Alright, what's up everybody? It's me, Soul Supreme, and welcome back to some dastardly Dutch action in Crusader Kings 3. Now, now, now. Last episode, if you didn't catch it, um, hopes and dreams were lost in Jerusalem. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, Seljuks have been overthrown. Oh, wait, no, they're they're back in power now. Um Yep. Oh god, it, it's beginning. Yeah, it was this dude, then off Arslan, who was like the previous emperor, gained back, but then he abdicated in favor of his son. Jeez, that, that's a mess over here. But these, the Gosnavids, um, they, they're they pretty much big. This is basically like Afghanistan. Finding a tyranny war, he's like losing, but like, you know, they could come back. But man, he expand. This is like a lot more than what they would usually have, uh, by at least a little bit. Yeah, they usually be like this little bit up here. But oh well, I guess also because they, I think they get independence from the Seljuks. That's also why. But you know, the capital is still in Kabul, which is like this mountainous region all the way up here in Afghanistan. So who knows? Maybe. Maybe they could be a rise of a new power. We'll see how that turns out. Ghana is shrinking. Oh yeah, Africa. Oh man, Africa, like most of the kingdoms here, I don't even think there's really, besides like what, Ghana, Maghreb, what? All right, we're just gonna ignore that. They're down here. I guess they broke off from these guys. They wasn't this part of like the Almoravids at one point. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, this split off. It's not even a king. So yeah, Ghana, Khanum over here are like the only two like sub-Saharan kingdoms. Nubia is still good. Abyssinia is still good. Okay, that's a nice little like tour around the world. Moonster actually, oh, that's probably why, because this weirdo is in charge. This dude literally looks like an evil villain. Like, <laughs> I am the last of the Vikings in Ireland, even though I'm an Adamite. Like, that's <laughs> yeah, things have been going pretty weirdly in this like place. Like, England is like not only really stable but really strong. They almost conquered like all of northern France. Look at this. King Richard II. Yeah, they, they're actually favorably powerful. Hmm. An alliance with England could go a long way. It's something to think about in the future. Especially with Bruges over here. I could take that. I mean, honestly, I'm just about as powerful as the King of France. Hmm. It's decisions, decisions. But right now, we got like a rebellious vassal. The legacy of Duke Dirk. Um, sorry, I have to end it here. Oh, she's gonna stay here? Alright, we're gonna battle her. Let's go! You don't understand. I'm a legendary warrior. We'll be victorious. Attack robot. You're French. We can let you go. I could try to imprison him. Hmm. You know, yeah, your life matters. Oh, I unlocked the new perk from that. Oh, this is going with pedagogy. I forgot. I'm also, um, like raising my new like, grandchild over here. Um. So, while well, I'm, I have my focus up there, like, that, I'm starting to feel, get the claim on Antwerp, good, let's see now, this capital, alright, everything's coming up pretty well for us right now, gonna siege this nice little tiny fort, 
Holland is gonna be our new capital, whether you like it or not. We we'll have both Amsterdam and Harlem under our control. Yes. Yes. Uh, technically, she she would technically be my niece, but unfortunately, she, um, her she never married. That that was one problem. Well, she did marry. She married this guy, but it was going to lead to, like, a succession issue, so I had to kill him. But she was like, I'm a strong, independent woman. I need no man. And so I have to say, well, guess what? Um, <laughs> sure, force me a weapon. I, I hate that this is, like, 50% chance for a dagger or 50% of a sword. Make this a choice where it's, like, a list. Where it's, like, you want a dagger, a sword... Axe, hammer, like that sort of thing. You know, like, let's 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 make it random. Let's make it truly random. She'll know, like we're just gonna say, you know, make whatever. All right. And all right, while we siege down this capital, and she siege down my son's territory. And let's see, how is my my son doing? He's on theology. I would have wished you went down either scholar or whole of body, but I I guess theology is something. <laughs> Not really important though for where we're at, but hey, it is something. Let's win this other battle. Yeah, I'm leading this charge, my lady. Yes, everyone shall remember the Dutch Civil War. All right. You're the same. Oh, you're the same guy. Uh, your life matters here. <laughs> All right, we captured a knight. Okay. Oh, my antiquarian just died. How would you like to join the more Victoria side? Wish, uh, that's a crayon. Uh, we can actually have like a court poet, um, if need be. Uh, all right, let's see. Um, let's actually work on this. I do like we're making money, but not enough for me to like start spending willy nilly on some of these other positions. But I do want a court tutor. Um, Okay, here. I, I'm willing to spend the extra income on that. Um, the rest of this stuff, these can all wait. Um, in here, you. Yeah, you get this go. You're free to go. You, you're just gonna join our our side. Yep, you're now fighting for us. The true rulers of the Dutch. High quality metal. It'll be a higher quality. Okay, sure. We have enough money. And we just collected additional taxes. Oh, thanks, son. Council Amadeus. I oh, Amadeus did not outlive me. Unfortunately, that's the case. Um... I'm just gonna put my um, other grandson, Knight. You shall protect me from any plots and schemes in this land. Mm, she's moving back over here to siege this. <laughs> Let's see. Um, my implacable liege. Um, you're a dedicated servant of the Lord. Uh, listen, you just literally started this job a few days ago. You coming up to me with some nonsense like that is gonna make me smack you. I therefore hope you will look in sympathy on the fact that our duty to you weighs down our ability to do God's work. Perhaps some of our heavier obligations could be waived. Um, sure. Here, focus your manpower on elsewhere. That's fine. And King Sigismund. Wait, my do what? <laughs> King Sigismund slept with my daughter. <laughs> they kept this relationship a secret. 
Wait, where is she even at? She's wait, she's in Brittany. What did he? Oh my god, that was that right reason why he was at the feast. He was like, oh man, he probably like, oh look at this. Like, let me become friends with the king of Frisia and get him in it. Uh, 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 today, Aunt May I present you this embroidered kerchief that I've kissed three times. I invite me. Humbly to wrap this around your arm. Who the hell is sending me this? It doesn't even show anyone. I shan't take it off. And he passed a uh, high crown authority. That's fine. And all right. Victory is ours. Revoke. And revoke. And it is ours. Yep, this is Amsterdam. Let's move the capital up here. Yes, this is our new capital. It is ours. Mine. Yes, and now we make money. <laughs> yes, all of this should be ours to make some money on. Uh, Alright, let's take for it. There we go. Do you want complete control of this duchy? Okay, um, you however, I could just revoke it. I, I could take the negative. Honestly, nobody really hates me. Uh, so yeah, I'll I'll just revoke it. it it's it's fine. Like I, I want I want complete like ma major control of this like duchy. All right, um. And speaking of which, I'm gonna grant my son this duchy. And then once I inherit it, him, I'm just gonna give it away. All right, I'll just give it away and then make it just these two like holding so it like it cleans up the like little border gore a bit. All right, so now I am the true and honorable de facto ruler over here. Zealand, I would, I could. Yeah, what is this, like brick gothic? Is that, Let's see. Masam Romanesque. Hmm. Is it? Uh, it must be. Yeah, it must be like part of like some Germanic culture group. All right. Well, you're here. Um. Really got like nothing you can do. You're kind of mad. I'm kind of trying to, and it's like mayor, mayor, countess. That's which is fine here. Um. I'll sway you. Oh, that's your heir? Could just execute you. <laughs> no. Uh, what I'm going to do instead, we're going to move you to the dungeon. I don't want you escaping. How do you like them apples? You will we'll talk about this uh, because I know you're already saying, oh, you're a tyrant for doing that to my friend. And I'm like, oh. Not my problem. <laughs> but instead, what is gonna be a problem is how much money we are gonna make here. Oh yes indeed. I'm also gonna build up our holdings um, while we have the opportunity. Uh, Alright. 
And oh wait, Jever just finished? Oh yeah, look at that. The city that uh, the Emperor made for us is finished. Oh yes. Everything is looking like everything's on the up and up for Frisia. Oh, it's Prince Heinrich. Hold court. But I think we're gonna we're gonna be at peace for right now. For just a little bit. Let's see. My lord, I regret to inform you that I am at the end of my tether. The Chancellor Count Otto is clearly exasperated. The people over which I should rule are an uncontrollable mob of unruly barbarians with ridiculous customs and a terrible taste for the food. All my efforts so far have been in vain. It just seems impossible to make civilized people out of them. I am afraid a strong intervention from above is the only solution available now. I tell my son to start promoting culture. Local traditions are respected. I mean, it, yeah, we really don't care. Uh, yeah, let's respect the local traditions. It's fine. Uh, may a defeat who has clearly been working himself up about something that greets me. My king, the dogs of the gentlemen, think they are better than us, he spews, cracking their haughty jokes each market day. Mayor Godfrey, the impotent knave, needs to be put in his place. And those damnable fools made to respect Appledorn, the leading city of Gale. Let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah. What? Y'all just duel this out. I'll lose stress from this. Mayor Devitt wins the duel. Yeah, popular justice indeed. And a thin, raggedy peasant stands before me, gawking at the opulence of my throne room. <laughs> Obviously distracted, I call him to get his attention. Oh, I'm sorry, my lord. I, uh, my village, Gilders, was hit by blight this year. Was lost not only our crop, but our seed, too. We have nothing. We shall starve without help. Glancing around my throne room again, surely you have some wealth to spare. Crop sharing? Oh, yeah, we could do this. Yeah, let's do this. Crop sharing. Because uh, I could pay the extra. Oh, wait, we don't really have the extra gold. Yeah, crop sharing it is. All right. Let's go back. We, we got to piece together, like, Amsterdam and all this, like, cool stuff over here. King Otto's mace. Well, she made me a fancy-dancy mace. Um... It's good. Oh, you know what? Um. Hey, let me see. Boy. Um. Oh, wait. I can't believe I missed that. There you go. I should gift you this artifact. Designate a guardian for him. Okay, sure. Uh. My wife and soulmate. Yeah. We shall teach you how to be Dutch. Everyone here should be taught how to be Dutch. Yeah, how do you like that, like, son? <laughs> oh, you're the good son. You're, you're, you're not hell. You're, you're not hell. He still love me like, Papa, do you love me? I right, go back to the bottle, boy. I tried. I tried. But the bottle, it seems, is, it has hold over you. Speaking of having hold, um, once, uh, let's see, my grandson, I can make him forgiven, humble, mm, plus two diplomacy, plus one learning, uh, but the humble, he will get that bonus piety per month, forgiving, uh, well, I mean, let's just say it's his true nature, he's just nice. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just go with that. Like, we'll go with that. Oh, wow. Oh, you finally ad adopted Dutch culture. Yep. Don't worry, boy. I shall find you a nice lass to settle with. Like her. Oh, wait. Um, I don't want anything with, like, small smashing issues. She looks like she could be good. If she lives long enough, um... You have you two marry, sure thing. Uh, there was commotion among the children today. Oldrick was attempted to preach among his fellow youngsters <laughs> and became the target of a small fight. Walter intervened and did what he could to protect him. Oh yeah, be brave. 
to grow up to be a knight, boy. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking right now I should probably call in um, some favors. I do want to take over Antwerp. We do have a proper claim. Wait, I have an artifact claim war against her. I am not going to start a war over a stupid half-broken ancient ass spoon. A pewter spoon at that. We're not... No. <laughs> the county of Antwerp, it calls... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, at least switch uh, crown authorities. Oh, and they're, they're at war. This is a liberty war. Right now for it. Yeah, my liege. Um, actually, since you were sneaking about. Let's see. I'm going to send my grandson over there to spy on him. You know, never know what he could be up to. He's also in the middle. Oh, now it's an independence war. Yep, everything is falling apart here. You might get a. You might just get away with it, girl. So if I could, if I could get the Pope, I could. Maybe I could probably like get her excommunicated. Hmm. Oh no, my wife just died. Uh, oh now I'm, well, guess what? I'm single and looks like I'm ready to mingle. Um, a princess, <laughs> she does look mighty pretty. Uh, well, hang on, like, I, that's the thing. Um, because I do, I do like, even though it would be useful to marry her, it's just the problem I have is like his damn crown authority. And I actually want the Liberty War. Oh, wow. Poland is in on this. Okay. That completely changed the dynamics. Holy crap. I did not know Poland was in on this, but he's also attacking someone else. Oh, he's attacking those guys. Um, yeah, that's, that's the thing. Um, Um, you're an alcoholic. Let's see, who who actually has good learning? You're a genius. I mean, sure. Alright, we'll, we'll marry her. I'm trying to boost our learning. Oh, God, and our core physician just died. Um, let's see. Actually... Honestly, uh, oh, she's also a lunatic. Well, that wasn't on, well, I guess it was like, oh, yeah, she's the most beautiful lost in all the land. And then it's like, okay. And then when she gets here, you see she's uh, crazy. And you're like, ah. Uh. So uh, <laughs> my character's like, so. <laughs> He says, you're book smart, but you're kind of loose ends. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, since he's like, helping out with patronage, you will help us, like, tremendously. Especially once we get, like, through. We, got, we only got six more years before we can go to regular partition. That is fine. The Verge culture. We could do that. Ah, and let's see. What about uh, performing? We could add um, we could add that. Honestly, I want to add Castle Keeper. Castle Keeper is, is honestly one of the best ones you can get in here. Simply because it just ridiculously breaks like the renowned generation, especially like the bigger your empire get and the more like land you give out to people like of your dynasty. It's um, yeah, it, it basically is crazy the amount you can get. You know what? Sure. Uh, I'll try to boost this one up. 
I do want to kind of like go for that. A little pastoralist. We ain't sleep size. We already have maritime mercantilism. We'll, 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 we'll get to that soon. Let's see. Anyway, let's go on a hunt. Right. It just generates some more prestige. And who can I demand conversion from? My courtiers. And they're, they're fine. They, they're absolutely fine. Like, we have a nice, modest court. What in the hell does this... Like, what? The noise from the others have faded away. By the time Night Ono and I stock up on the bear, we are almost within striking distance when Ono whispers to me, now that we are finally by ourselves, there's something I must let you know. Oh, he's telling me a secret. I thought she was actually out here. Um. Well, what's... I mean, is it her lover? She's a fornicator. Um... Screw that. Let's just, like, let's continue to hunt. Who cares? She's in prison. She's going to die there anyway. So, <laughs> so we have no need to worry about her. Yes, especially while our county are on the up and up. Speaking of which, um, yeah, let's, let's focus on that, like, also help boost up development over there and yeah we're gonna make this like like our trade hub let's also build some walls and towers around Harlem get a nice little trade port up here I realize that Duke Thomas has a lover secret with her. You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna blackmail her. Huh? Here, <laughs> you gotta pay me some of this gold to like fun. And so she's also a leader in this. I know you guys are both lovers. So there. You, you're my, my uh, you're fine. Kaiser Sigismund Spymaster. We already, uh, yeah, we already got them. So, what a black baby. I, I wanted more on the Kaiser. I don't really like, um, mine like the vassals but like the kaiser he's where the meat and potatoes are oh man we have to what is this let me see it's, it's in german gothic so if i for example let's say for brant so they had they have autonian art which i think we already have Carolingian art. Oh, that's like in late medieval for them. Oh, yeah, so that's not really available to us, is it? Like, at all. No, we get Brabantine Gothic. Okay. And I think that was like the main one we. Like, can we use that one here? Great Gothic. Hmm. That'll be something we'll have to figure out later on. Yeah, I want like this to be a very prosperous, super rich and wealthy land. Hmm, should I do the Altonian shirt? Oh wow, that actually is it scales up nicely. gonna do mm. let's do farming fields that's fine it's fine you know I already got enough Altonian churches anyway who wants to be sponsored now 
Someone else wants to be a ma We don't need more maces. Though, you know what? The next one, you know, I could put that in the middle. Um, just as, like, window dressing. Archbishop. Oh, you're the new Archbishop? Okay. And I'm gonna ask the Pope for some more gold because he, I'm a good Christian. All right, let's also do that so we can boost up development in this county. In memory of Adela. Yeah, let's do it in honor of our wife. King Sigismund is winning the Holy War. I know we're friends and all, but like, I need you to like lose this. Yeah, let's go have like a nice little quiet feast. Oh, Poland is exploding. Oh man, the Holy Roman Empire is an absolute mess right now. Though, I can attack France. They are in, you know what? Let's do this, like reclamation. So I guess a weak hook, no sign, like you, man, I don't need anyone hooks on me. All right, build up a trade port. All right, build up right there. Push you guys up. Yeah, we still have to get battlements and then what not done over here. Like I'm trying to get hereditary rule, then I'm gonna get this one and knock this one out and then try to like bounce between these so we can get um hurry up and pass through um high medieval with the fascination progress. So I could find the holy order right now. Hmm. That city is right here. That's right there. We get here. I, I found a holy order right over here in Jeffers. How about that? The hospital hospitalers. All right, we. we did it. <laughs> there, the Pope just like love me even more. Still like flirting with this lady, try to get more power. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the Pope loves me. I found a holy order for him, so he's like, your respect. And we're generating buku bucks right now. Ah, uh, this event, uh, once again. Here, yeah, better her spending. Yep. Better boost the court grandeur a little bit. The world enders. I've heard of a tough but small band of mercenaries called the World Enders, causing all sorts of havoc in nearby settlements. Yet, when I sent in some soldiers to restore order, these mercenaries disappeared. Nowhere to be found. It seemed no trace at all. Further searches turned up nothing, despite the best efforts of my troops and the locals trying to help us find these troublemakers. Now there are rumors going around that these World Enders actually have supernatural powers or are in league with Satan. Uh, okay? <laughs> Let's see. Let's try to hear her out. Wait, are you back to me? Oh wait, I forgot the other lady died. Well, this lady is now an alcoholic. Um. Yes. Yeah, so while France is currently embroiled in this war, he is. Wow, he is mangled up a bit. Well, I know his secret now. Oh, this is gonna be too stressful. If I do this, cause I'm honest here, let's... <laughs> we know he has a lover. <laughs> My grandson? 
wants to be gregarious oh wow you are being a nice diplomatic chap even though um, you're being trained in the art of war oh speaking of um honestly we don't i actually don't think we have anyone else to like teach languages um here because all we have is just simply dutch people in our land <laughs> Could have at least you for a hundred bucks, but you are very, very, very mean. You will probably try to kill me. So I think it's best to keep you locked away nice and tight. Oh, while my son and heir, Prince Flores, suddenly knows a thing or two about theological treatises, um, Queen Gudrun thinks it's time for him to widen his horizons. I could acquire some new tones, prepare a few assignments, tutor him for a little. Which subjects do you think would benefit him the most? Um, let's actually see. Wow, he's, yeah, he's a good learner. Um, could boost his military. I mean, yeah, he is terrible by entry, but that plus one isn't gonna really do him much justice. Let's teach him about the economy. We're Dutch after all. <laughs> all right. Yes, we're gonna have a nice little prosperous kingdom. And while I have like the advantages of like some of these active perks, while I'm still alive, I'm going to continue to like buy most of these holdings up to upgrade them while we still have the chance Let's see um i'm doing well i'm 68 and we're still fine i can petition the liege <laughs> what is this so claim title of vassal is that that's gonna take it away from my son isn't it because i think Because, what does it mean? Is it a, a, one of his vassals? And who's my son, like, being romantic with? Boy, don't be stupid. I mean, you might be having fun. Yeah, he's sleep deprived. Someone might be trying to seduce him. Oh, well, as long as my grandson is safe from this nonsense, you can do whatever you want. Um, You know what, actually? Here, send bailiffs. Could you at least do that? Thank you. Oh, thank you, Kaiser. It's good. It's good to be friends with him. All counties with less than 66 control. Change by plus 10. Gains this. Okay. So that's going to be like Harlem. Yeah, like some of these bits, like Harlem and Frisia up here. All right. Well, at least uh, Kaiser uh, was kind enough to help me out. And you know what? Um, since we did get this, what I'm going to do is we're going to reforge you. And at least use you to decorate our hall a little bit so it's not as bare. Oh, look at that. It's like a nice, respectable army now. Fortunately, the, you little girl, where you're able to be saved because of our Lord's laws. Um, actually, that was a good time to actually learn like high German. I, I just realized that. Um, now that we have some education under our belt, some years of experience, some different culture intermingling, I think it's now it's time to learn some high German. Oh yeah, Amsterdam is on the up and up right now. Yeah, we're gonna be developing over here. Let's see. Uh, oh, he lost the war to King Richard of England. Interesting, yes, yeah, stay, stay weak. Uh, we're almost done, like, dang. I wish uh, the war was up for a little bit longer over there. 
Let's see. Should I do royal reserves or tax offices? All holdings in this duchy. Ooh, let me see. I mean, Holland is like these, like three. I could get this. I do want to get Zealand to have a complete control of this duchy. Um. What are we worth? Or should I just do the Royal Reserves? You know what? No, we, we're Dutch. What am I saying? Let's just go tax offices. We're, we're gonna be, we're gonna be wealthy. We're gonna be super wealthy. <laughs> yes, the court bailiff is like, hopefully. He's doing a good job over here in Holland. Um, do want to see if I can invite some more knights. All right, my grandson grew up well rounded, and his wife is, even though she's like all these good traits, she's still sick. Here, come to our court. Uh, we actually have healthcare over here. <laughs> Scholarly circles. Hey, let's go for it. Hey. Do this for all of Flanders. Hey, that's the Dutch we're behind. All of Flanders. I mean, well, there's really no point. Like, there's only two in France right now. And all I really want is this because it is Dutch. Um. Yeah. Uh, let's get the claim on that. Now, since you're not, like, since you're, our legion is not under absolute crown authority, that means I could do this and you won't be able to stop me. All right. Let's go. Let's go to war, baby. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. I can call some of you scrubs into this. Hair sign, redeem. Why is your wife in prison? What? Oh, uh, well, okay. Son, come in. You're, you're gonna come with me. Alright. And let's raise the troops. Alright, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. So, when we return, <sighs> King Otto will finally get revenge on France for humiliating him. Uh,. In the earliest bit of the campaign, we fought them. They beat us back, and I almost like got captured. I lost like all my men died. We lost our honor for a brief moment, but this time, this war is on our terms. It's not under our brother-in-law's terms. We're actually gonna take control and be more effective with this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. And when we return, well. King Otto is going to get his just dues. So this is Solo Supreme and have a great day, folks. Now this one is pure niceness.